Hi guys, and welcome back to Alloy Geek. In this video, we're gonna talk about the test stands for the Niton XL2 and Niton XL3T. Now, while we're talking about these specific test stands in general, this the same principles we'll discuss today are gonna to apply to all the handheld XRFs in the industry and their test stands. Um, we're gonna talk about the features of each of these test stands, why you might pick each one, I have a personal favorite. This is my favorite test stand here. It's small. When you're using a test stand, typically you're in a laboratory environment and, and the newer test stands like these ones remove all the legacy hardware. You don't have to plug them into a power outlet, anything like that. And they integrate with the RFID features of the Niton XL2 and XL3T. First, we need to talk about why you would use a test stand. So why you'd use a test stand, the first thing is small samples. Now I have some samples down here in front of me like this dinky little spring or um, you know sample coupons. If you're getting coupons from your supplier that you need to verify or from your uh, own facility, um, that's an easy way to do it. Run them in a test stand. Another thing, weld wire, right? So when we shoot x-rays, we actually shoot x-rays up around the weld wire. And if we're shooting that on a tabletop surface like this, what happens is we get scattered x-rays from the tabletop back into our results. And we don't want that. A test stand is going to eliminate that 100%. So that's awesome. Um, that's a big reason. Another reason is closed beam operation, right? So we have these chambers that have are protected from x-ray and when the xrf is clipped in here if somebody opens the chamber the x-ray turns off completely totally safe removes your hands You're dealing with small samples removes your hands removes your operator hands and it's a great way to stay safe when you're using your handheld xrf now Another big reason you would want to use a test stand, if you have a camera feature, or even if you don't in your in your XRF, is you can target specific areas on a sample. And in production parts, like this part here, this is a hydraulic cylinder. I actually just use this as a pen holder on my desk. But so what you'll see here is there's very there's different regions here that have been machined and things like that. I can target very specific regions with a test stand by simply moving this on a sample stage without having to move my XRF around. So, and I can also run that completely from a computer, which is another huge benefit. So I could run my XRF from a computer, download the data right there from the computer. Um, and it's just a very easy way to do analysis with handheld XRF. So let's take a closer look at each one of these test stands, talk about why you might pick those test stands and, uh, you know, help you guys make a decision. Okay guys, so first up, let's take a look at this mobile test stand. That's this guy right here, little blue box. Now normally this has legs coming out of it. I'm not gonna show them in this video. You can plug those in yourself. The um, XRF, whether you have a Niton XL2 or XL3T, a lot of people don't know that both of these devices simply clip into this bottom. There's a flat face on top of your XRF and it just plugs in and clips into your XRF. And then the legs would suspend your XRF in the air like this. So that turns this into a little bench top. So I'm gonna remove my XRF for the sake of this demo. So XL2 or XL3T, they both work really well um, with this test stand. But this is a test stand that I don't typically recommend unless you really like it um, because the sample stage is very small. So it's a little bit hard to see here, but my test my test stand, my fixtures for samples about that big, about an inch across, and that's pretty small. And then in the test stand itself, we have this tiny little test stand here. Um, does it work? Yeah. Is it ideal? I don't think so. Most of the time, um, you see these in a lot of jewelry shops, but you can get a much nicer test stand like the, the desktop ones we're talking about. Where this test stand is really beneficial is you can put this in a case and carry it with you in the field. So keep that in mind that the portability of these test stands is really important. I see that in mud logging and geological applications, mining applications, um, but even something like a piece of weld wire, you typically cut a six inch piece of weld wire. So if I pull this test stand open here, right? My, my weld wire doesn't even, it doesn't even fit in there. It doesn't, it needs to sit flush on the bottom and it's not doing that. So this test stand, it does work. It is uh, one of the less, less expensive options for a test stand, but you know, when it's a business expense and you're talking about a setup for your lab for a long time, if you're a jeweler, or if you're running a lab for geology applications, just get the desktop test stand. It's a much nicer feature. You don't have to worry about losing these legs in the field. Um, they, they come with a carrying case, so you're able to take them in the field with you. That's a huge selling point for a lot of folks. Um, this little sample, sit stage inside here actually fits sample cups as well. So you're able to take that directly into the field, prepare your sample cups and do your testing. Miners and mud loggers, they love this test stand as well. It's portability is the primary option for them, but you know, samples this big, that's never going to fit in there. Um, you know, even bar stock, if you're a, a foundry or a mill, aluminum or steel, copper, um, you're not going to be able to get that in there in a satisf satisfactory way, but we'll see that in some of the, um, the bigger samples, uh, bigger test stands here in just a second. So let's talk about that. 
All right, guys, so here we have the portable test stand by Thermal Scientific Night Hunt. This is a pre-owned test stand. You can actually buy one of these on alloygeek.com if you want. Um, I think they're great. They last a long time. They're pretty rugged and robust cool. Um, you can also buy a new one there if you want. And we will offer to set up a computer with an NDT software uh, for your analyzer and, got, and do a virtual training to get you guys set up with your test stands if you need them. So that's that upcharge option on the website. And what that's going to do is just help you get started, especially if you have some lab techs that may be a little gun shy about that. So in the back of these test stands now, when we talk about desktop test stands, there's typically additional ports back there. Like there for this piece here. This is the jumper cable. It looks like a headphone to headphone, male to male connection. And that's gonna connect between the Niton and the test stand. And what that's gonna control is with the RFID application to know when the test uh, the test stand is actually closed like this. And if you do open it, that RFID technology is gonna kick in and automatically turn the x-rays off, to keep your employees safe. Now, here's an example where we have that six inch piece of weld wire that wouldn't fit in that other test stand, fits perfectly in this. And look at this big sample area that you have to work with. With. I mean, this huge. So big samples like this, or even tall samples, like you think this doesn't fit in there? Well, it does. And those are applications and where a test stand like this is just a much more versatile tool um, than a mobile test stand. And not only that, the diameter of this is too big to fit in that little mobile test stand. So that's cool. Another application is when you're testing really small samples, like this little piece of nitinol, um, there's a lot of air gap here. There's not much metal. I can put that right over my X-ray, primary X-ray beam. In fact, if your XL2, XL2 Plus, or XL3T has a camera feature, you're able to see exactly where you're targeting on that piece. That includes parts that may have coatings, things like, like this part here that might have a chrome coating on the bottom. Um, or you may want to target specific regions that look like there's other metals or something else going on there. You can set them, rotate them, move them, look at your desktop PC, you're, you connect with a simple USB cable, um, and you're able to target exactly the location you want to target on your sample and run the test in the mode as long as you want. So that's awesome. So that's these mobile test stands. They do uh, have a name of the finger cutter. These are steel legs that accordion down. You can see my hands down here. If these accordion, they're going to damage my fingers. A lot of people get paranoid about that. These test stands are portable, but they do weigh a lot. This test stand weighs about 20 pounds. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but carry that across an acre of a mining site. Um, I, in my opinion, this should just be a desktop test stand like the other ones I've shown here. You, you can throw those in the truck. They don't require external power. They're much more simplified. And they run off the same RFID technology and they're less expensive. So we're gonna talk about those next, but if you're looking for an authentic thermal scientific item or you just like this test stand with this big sample chamber, I mean, this is a great test stand to use. So I would recommend it um, over the mobile test stand any day. Um, but uh, again, you know, if you don't need the portable uh, features of this, go with a desktop test stand. You'll just be happier in the long run. Now let's talk about the desktop test stands. This is the standard version of the desktop test stand that we offer here at Alloy Geek. You can see it's got this nice black design. The sample stage is even a little bit wider. Really nice for things like weld wire or you know the that little piece of night and all spring that we have. Um, it, the same features apply, but you don't need that external power. You just need the jumper cable. Of course, you're going to need your USB cable because I would always run a test stand like this from your PC because you can't see the screen very well from down here. All you do is plug in your your jumper cable to from your Niton to your test stand and then plug in this USB cable from the Niton to your PC you're able to do uh, you're able to run this no problem so these test stands they just look nicer they're really easy to use they have that slow co close feature right so that's really nice. Um, you have this broad sample area to work from and look at how nice this looks with your Niton put in. So for jewelers, I would always recommend this test stand over the mobile test stand. You don't have those, those rickety legs moving around. You have larger area to work from. You're easily able to target your samples, etc. cetera. Um, I think that that is great. So the, also the legacy technology of having to plug this into a wall to make it work it's gone, you don't need that. Um, and there's just one air spot, one port on the back for this uh, jumper cable, makes it really easy to do. So if you're testing jewelry, it's a great application to use one of these desktop test stands. This is not as portable. So this is something you might wanna set down in a lab um, on a bench top or at your desk or on your jewelry bench, you know, so customers can see when you test their stuff. It's gonna use the same RFID technology that the Niton XL2 and XL3T test stands do um, when they connect to a test stand, which means that if you open this while you're connected with that jumper, it's gonna disable the analysis immediately and um, it's gonna keep you and your customers safe. If you're running this for an industrial application, you can see how nice this looks already. But um, now you've got the ability to do those longer test times 
work with long awkward samples like this weld wire um, and even taller samples like this this uh, aluminum bar stock they're able to fit in the test stand just like the portable test stand we saw from Thermal Scientific. So a great option, but this is a much less expensive test stand. It's available to ship immediately. Uh, so these deliver very fast. And I just think this is a great test stand. I don't know why more people aren't using this technology. This is just fantastic. We use these here in Alloy Geek's lab. All right, so now we have the largest test stand available for the Niton XL2 and XL3T right here. This is the XL desktop test stand. You can find these on AlloyGeek.com. They are actually designed to hold an entire gold bar. So you can see how big or how broad this sample surface is. Super great for large samples, awkward samples. If you're doing orthopedic joints and you've got a long, awkward looking hip joint, you're looking to target regions on it, make sure that um, you're doing a chemical analysis of those regions, you can do that really easily here. You can do that with um, samples like weld wire or strip or just things that you get from your production facility you want to test but you want to test them in the lab um, and you want you know sometimes we get cropped ends like this from production and we want to make sure it's tall enough or long enough to hold that sample you can do that here the other reason you'd want to use this XL test stand is if you're working with circuit boards they can be really big and you might be able to target individual solder joints looking for things like ROHS compliance or Rojas compliance and so that is something that's very easy to do you can see this also looks really good. Um, it's a very clean looking. It's a very solid test stand. You're not gonna take this one really into the field, but just like the previous one we talked about, there's no legacy technology hanging off the back. You only have to connect the jumper cable, and then of course your USB cable to your PC, but you're very easily able to target individual regions of your sample. Just keep in mind that uh, XRF analysis typically hits gold and jewelry about 20 microns. Depth is a considered infinite thickness. So we're really not looking at anything very deep. So if you wanna make sure that your gold bar is pure, you, you're gonna have to drill your gold bar. There's no way around that. X-rays don't penetrate that far into the surface. And if it did, this test stand here would not offer the protection needed. It would blast X-rays out of the top. As this is, this operates with the same RFID technology. So we have that same soft close as well. So let me just close that. You can see it closes very nicely and quietly. So now you guys have seen all the test stand options available for the Niton XL2 and XL3T. And it doesn't matter if you have an old model, a precious metals model, um, a, a geological model like the XL3T, Whatever you have for your Niton um, XL2 or XL3T, they're gonna be compatible with these test stands. Now you are gonna wanna make sure there's a camera inside your XRF. It makes it easier to see what you're doing on a computer screen. Um, and that's gonna let you target your sample much easier. If you don't have one, you can always trade up to an XRF that does have a camera. Um, and that's something that I would definitely recommend. But again, taller samples or production samples are gonna be better on these bigger test stands. And then also really thin long samples that don't fit in this mobile test stand. They're better for these bigger sample stages like this one here. This is the portable test stand for the Niton uh, XL2 and XL3T. Now, I would recommend typically the test stand we use here at Alloy Geek. We actually really like this test stand a lot here, this desktop test stand. This, this baby here comes in this sleek black color. It looks good on your desk. Uh, all the ports have been simplified, so all you need is that USB and that jumper. It just, it's just a nicer, more modern test stand. These are kind of older with some legacy technology in them. And again, uh, very heavy to move in the field at 20 pounds. It's about the same weight as this test stand here, but when it's setting in your, sitting in your lab or on your desktop, it's just easier to use a, a test stand that's been designed to do that. These test stands here from Thermo are gonna be a little bit more expensive. If you want, the, want or need the authentic product from Thermo, yeah, you can buy one. But if you wanna save some money and you want something that looks nice like this black test stand here, go with a desktop test stand. Now these are available, they're in stock at Allergy, which means we ship pretty much same day. So if you're looking for that authentic product, we have these portable test stands, either the mobile test stand or the portable test stand in stock, but they're pretty heavy. And unless you need that portable feature, I would recommend going with a desktop test stand. Now here at Alloy Geek, we do contract testing. Um, we do a lot of work with folks in the industry. We use this desktop, desktop test stand here almost exclusively. Look at how good it looks. I can't get over how great it is. Um, and on top of that, again, the simplified design, the integration with your RFID technology. We don't get pre-owned uh, test stands. People don't sell these back to us for these desktop versions. They just use them. So if you're a jeweler or you have a lab and you're running your X handheld XRF from your lab, go with a be benchtop test stand like this, you're gonna be a lot happier. 
These test stands work well, as well, they work great too. And if you wanna make the upgrade, there's not that big of a difference here if it's just sitting in your lab. Um, but these just, again, they look nicer. So if you have a customer facing front, like a jewelry store, something like this is gonna be a much nicer look for your store. So that's all we have for you today. Of course, you can find these test stands on alloygeek.com and we'll see you guys next time.